y'all. Let's cry. Trish and I used to have a lemonade stand. It was called Abby's Old Fashioned Lemonade in honor of our grandmother. And the tiered tray I've been working on is inspired by that. One of the items I'm going to be using is a wooden birdhouse. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It cost $2.99. And I just wanted to show you the difference between it and the ones you get from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this little Believe sign. I got it recently, believe it or not, at Hobby Lobby. Of course, it was 90% off. I found these cutting boards at Target in the dollar spot. Cost $5 and I'm going to be using one of them. I'm going to use one of these small pots that I got at the Dollar Tree. They come three to a package and also a couple of these wooden dowels that also came from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using this photo stand that I got at the Dollar Tree. It has glazing points on the back. You just open it up and put in your picture. Just like in part one, I'm going to be using this lemon and pink patterns scrapbook paper. I ordered it from Amazon. First thing I'm going to do is deconstruct this frame that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to remove this wire and take off the beads so that I can repaint them. I'll give it two good coats of my white Waverly chalk paint. And that's what I'm going to do with all of the raw wood items so that I can get started on all my projects at one time. After my birdhouse was nice and dry and painted, I took it out to my workshop and I cut out this square section in the middle just using a Dremel tool because I want the birdhouse to look very much like the lemonade stand that Trish and I had. The bird perch came out really easily once this was cut and I'm going to take some wood glue and I'm going to place it back into the birdhouse so that it's sealed nicely there. Now I'm going to paint one of those tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree and we'll be applying that to the birdhouse a little later. I taped up all of the edges of my birdhouse so that I can go in first of all and paint yellow, which is daybreak color, on the bottom here because that represents the rug that Trish and I always had under our stand. And then for the eaves, I'm going to go in and paint those in the pink, baby pink, all the way around the roof line. And also that little pole that runs on the top of the roof line, I will be painting that pink as well. For the front and the back and the two sides of my birdhouse, I cut pieces of scrapbook paper in the pink and white stripe, which is very much how our bar looked for our lemonade stand. And so I'm going to be placing that down with some Mod Podge all the way around the house. Once it's dried completely, I come back and I put another coat of Mod Podge on top of all of this paper as well. And then everything needs to sit and dry for a little while so that it's nice and tight when I come back and place something on the front of the birdhouse. Now I'm doing the roof line as well. It's a little different from our roof line because ours was just all pink, but I'm going to use this cute paper that has the pink lemons and the regular lemons. I just love this print and I'm going to place that on both sides. You want to make sure that your Mod Podge is nice and even because although this paper is double-sided, it's not as thick as you think. And then I'm using some Saran Wrap to make sure that I keep it nice and smooth there. And you can always come back with an iron if you have any problem areas. Now I'm cutting out the rest of my window just using my utility knife. And now I'm coming in with that tumbling tower block and I'm going to use a little hot glue to glue it right down there at the bottom so that it's like our bar that kind of stuck out from the tent. One more thing to do to this house, I'm going to be using some water slide decal paper and I actually printed off our logo. I did do one thing wrong because I should have printed it on a white background. I forgot that this water slide decal paper is really clear, but it still came out pretty cute. I always just follow the directions on the page that comes with the water slide decal paper. I love how it works, y'all. You just slide it right off after it's been in the water about 90 seconds. And then once you place it down on your house, then you just blot it with a paper towel to get off the excess water. And then we'll let that dry. And with that, my project is complete. This is the picture that I'm going to use in this little photo stand. 
I'm also going to be using this dotted piece of paper that has yellow and pink on it that I got from that same collection of paper I've been using. I'm going to simply lay my piece down on my scrapbook paper. I've got it propped up on a piece of styrofoam and then I'm going to trace out the circle, the outside and the inside and then we'll just cut that out and it looks kind of like a donut. And then I'm going to come in with my Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it to the front. And once that was dry, I did come back and put a coat of Mod Podge on the top as well. For this bottom section, I'm just going to go in with my Daybreak Yellow Acrylic Paint and I'm going to give it a good coat on the edges, the sides, and the bottom as well. And now I'm going to fashion a bow, a very simple bow, out of this pink and white gingham ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use twine and tie it right around the middle. Give it a good fluffing. I trim that off. Then I'm going to come in with this yellow gingham ribbon. And I'm going to make the bow just a little bit smaller. And of course, I'm going to wrap the twine once again around it. And then for accent, I'm coming in with this green rickrack trim and I'm just going to tie it around the middle to hide the twine and that's what it looks like. Lots of color but a simple bow and now we'll just place it here at the bottom with a little glue and all I need to do now is print my picture to go inside. I got these Christmas berries this past year at Target in the dollar spot. I think they cost about three dollars and has quite a few berries in there. My idea is to turn these into miniature lemons. I ended up using four stalks and each one has three berries on it. And I'm just going to open up all the berries, pull out the little um, wires, and I'm going to use those wires later to attach them. And then I'm going to come in and give everything a really good coat of my white Waverly chalk paint, sometimes two coats. I then started painting them in the Daybreak Yellow color, acrylic paint, and I just thought that wasn't enough. So I come back in and I'm going to squeeze them and kind of elongate the berries. And probably I should have done this before I even painted them in the white paint if you want to know the truth. But I do end up making it work. I just keep squeezing them and giving them more of a lemon shape. And then I came up with the crazy idea to put a drop of glue here at the bottom and let it kind of string down. And sometimes I used my fingers to shape it as well. And I turned that into more of that little bump at the end of the lemon. I know, crazy. But in the end, they look great. You can see the glue there on the end. And then I just kind of cut off the strings. And that's what I'm going to do to the rest of them. And once I have the lemon shape, I'm just going to come back in finally with my daybreak paint and I'm going to paint them yellow, of course, and part of the stem as well. I'm not real careful with the paint. I just kind of dab it on and get it thick in places because lemons are very textured and that's what I'm trying to accomplish with my painting. It only took about 10 minutes to do this entire thing and I just stuck them down into this styrofoam and touched them up and I'm gonna let them dry. Now I'm just going to take my little clay pot and I'm going to press it into this styrofoam. This is just some scrap that I had. And I'm just going to indent the middle circle. And then I'll come in with my utility knife and I'll just kind of hack at it until I get it cut out into this circle. Just kind of ripping off the side, but I am going to keep it pretty close to that circular shape. And then I'll just press it right down into my pot and it actually fit really well. Now I'm taking some ribbon, that lemon ribbon I showed you probably in the previous video, and I'm just going to cover this little lip around the pot just to decorate it a little bit more. This is some styrofoam balls. They come four to a package. I got them at the Dollar Tree. And this is the stick that I showed you earlier that I painted, that a dowel that I came from the Dollar Tree. And I put it in my pencil sharpener and sharpened it on both ends. And that works really well for when I have to place it down into the pot. Then I'm going to use this mossy mat. You've seen me use this on many projects. I'm still using the same package. I'm going to trace out my pot once again. Then I'm going to come in with my scissors and cut that out. And then we'll just peel off this backing and place it right down onto the styrofoam and kind of attaching it to the sides of the pot as well. And this stuff is really sticky, y'all. It sticks well. 
Then I stuck my dowel down into my styrofoam ball and then I'm coming in with little pieces of this mossy mat because it is a round surface and I want mine to be irregular and I kind of place it next to each other, sometimes overlapping and that kind of thing. And I'll just keep cutting off pieces and removing the backing until I finally will cover this entire styrofoam ball. Yep, we're making a lemon tree, kind of like a topiary if you want to know the truth. But I love this yellow green mossy mat. It works really well. They sell a cheaper version at the Dollar Tree so you don't have to buy this expensive one at Hobby Lobby. But I've had this one a long time and I've been using it on a lot of projects so I've really gotten my money out of it. It all covered. I'm just going to all use my hands and kind of flatten it out and make sure it's shaped really nicely because I do want it to be in a round shape. That's what it looks like so far. Next thing we want to do is bring over our pot and I'm just going to press it down until I get it to the height I want it and just push it right down into that styrofoam. Now I'm shaping a little bow out of this pink ribbon. I'm going to do about three loops on each side then we'll cut that off and use another piece of the ribbon to tie right around the middle. Then we'll trim it up and give it a little fluffing and I'm going to use that ribbon that tied around the middle to tie it to my little dowel here and I'll use a little hot glue to secure it as well. Now I'm going to remove the lemons from the stem here, the berries that I painted, but I'm leaving some of that wire on the end so I can stick it down into my pot or into my styrofoam. And I'm also using hot glue to help me attach them and I just work my way around the little topiary here and placing on the lemons. I hope you can tell the detail in them. They actually do look like a small miniature lemon. So I was really happy with the process and I only used the 12 that I had originally done. That was a pretty good guess on my part and it turned out I think stinking cute. And that's pretty much it. I love how this turned out, y'all. Thank you for stopping by our channel today. If you're new here, we hope that you will subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe below. Make sure you ring the bell when it comes up and YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content. We upload videos four days per week offering a variety of DIYs, trash to treasure projects, paper crafting, hauls, and craft show information. We just know you'll find something you like with Crafting Cousins. For this project, I'm going to be trying to use up some of the scraps that I have left from all the pages that I've been using for all of my miniatures. I'm going to use them to make a pennant for my tear tray. For this particular piece of paper, I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to fussy cut with my scissors some of the lemons and the slices, and I'm going to use them on my pennant. I just went in and made me a pattern. I cut this triangle out of some paper, some scrap paper, to see what size I needed to accommodate these letters that I have in my collection. These are from my days doing creative memories, and I'm just going to use some of the yellow and some of the pink and spell out lemon. I would have liked to have spelled out lemonade, but it just made it too long for the front of my tray. I'm going to use some of this twine that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm also going to be using some of these white beads that I got from Walmart at Christmas time. You actually only need six of the beads. I had too many, but I'm going to paint them in this color citrus and I put them on a chenille stem to help facilitate painting them. And eventually I took the chenille stem and I stuck it down into some styrofoam and that actually helped even more so to paint them and they could dry that way. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace on my pennants on all of my scrapbook paper. You do have to plan ahead so that you put a yellow letter on a pink background paper and vice versa so that you have a nice mix of color. And then I'll just cut all of those out. And I'm really careful here on the striped paper because I want my point to fall right in the middle of a stripe, if that makes any sense. Then I'm going in with my letters and I'm just going to peel them off and stick them on to all of my pennants. Now I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue on all of those pieces of lemon that I fussy cut out earlier. And I'm just going to stick it onto the corners or down at the bottom and just to make an accent. 
Now I'm going to layer this on to some laminating film and I'm going to laminate all of my pieces. This isn't necessarily necessary, but it does add a nice touch and a more longevity to your piece. And so I'm going to run it through the laminator twice. I did cut off the piece I didn't need because I can use that on another project. Then I'm going to cut everything out. I'm going to leave a little margin of my film all the way around. And this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to take my We Are Memory Keepers hole punch on the 1 8 inch side and I'm going to put little tiny holes in the upper two corners for all of my letters. Now I'm tying a knot in one end of my twine and I'm going to string on one of my beads and then a letter and then another bead and so forth. And I do put knots at the end so everything doesn't slide off. My advice is leave your twine a little bit longer than I did because it just gives you an extra area to attach it when you put it on your tear tray. I should have left it a little longer. That's okay. I'll go back and I'll tie another piece on the end and it'll be okay. So now I've got everything strung on. I'm going to tie a knot at the end. I'm going to glue those larger lemons right at the end onto the string. And with that, my project is complete. So for this project, I went on the internet and I just looked up lemon silhouette and I found one I thought would be the right size and I just printed off on my computer. And now I'm going to use this fabric. I got it, I believe at Hobby Lobby recently, just a remnant to make my lemon. I'm going to use this wooden heart from the Dollar Tree as the base for my project and also one of these wooden dowels that we painted earlier. First, I'm going to mark the center of my heart and I'm just going to use utility knife to make a hole right there in the center. And now I'm just going to give my heart a really good coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. I'm going to paint the front and all of the edges and probably the bottom as well. Once it's dry, I'm just going to put my dowel down through the middle and remember I sharpened it on my pencil sharpener and then I'm going to put a little hot glue here on the bottom and it's ready to go. It's like when making a dress you need to cut out your pattern first and so I'm going to cut out my lemon. I'm going to fold over my piece of yellow fabric so I can place down my lemon and I'm going to secure mine with some straight pins. You certainly don't have to do this if you have a steady hand and you can just cut around the lemon because it's not that big. But I'm going to use my fabric shears and I'm just going to cut out my lemon fabric. And if you would like, you can go ahead and sew up this lemon and just leave an opening to stuff it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the easy way out and I'm just going to use some hot glue and seal those edges. This is one of those times it would definitely be better if you had the fine tip glue gun. But that's okay. I'm just barely putting it on the edge. I have some wax paper underneath and I'm using this pencil to sort of roll it out from the edges. And then once I get it glued up, I'm going to start stuffing it with just a little Pellon, just to give it a poofy effect. It doesn't take very much, and I did leave kind of a nice opening there. Now I'm going to seal up partway that opening. And then I'm going to bring over my dowel and stuff it up into the lemon. And then we'll add a little glue there at the base to make sure everything's nice and sealed for the top of my lemon, I'm going to pull out my rose leaves once again and I cut it off and left a little bit of a stem. So I'm turning it upside down and we'll poke the stem out the top and glue down the leaves. One more thing to dress it up, I'm going to make a simple bow. I just tied it like I was tying my shoestrings on my tennis shoes. We'll cut that off. And I'm going to add it kind of right there in the middle but below the stem part. And that just dresses it up, and that's the end of our project. Very simple, but it looks cute on the lemon tray. Now let's work on that small sign that I got from Hobby Lobby 90% off. First thing I'm going to do is take my beads, and I'm going to string them onto a chenille stem, and I'm going to paint the two black beads in yellow, which is the color we've been using, Daybreak. And then I'm going to paint the two red beads in the pink color, which is the baby pink. I'm going to leave the two white beads white. That just makes it a little easier. This fabric is actually a bandana that I got from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And I'm just going to take a pencil and trace right around the side. 
and then I'm going to cut it out with my fabric shears. Then I'm just going to take my Mod Podge and spread it across the front, and I'm going to be a little more generous because it's fabric. Then we'll line that up, and you don't even have to wait and let it dry before you put the top coat of Mod Podge on. You can go ahead and apply right away. This is a sticker that I found on my Cricut. It was already designed for me. It says, Squeeze the Day, and you know you can use little stickers from uh, the Dollar Tree, the Alphabet stickers, and you could do the same thing, but I used my Cricut Joy, and I'm going to place that down, scrape it down onto this frame. And you could use the iron-on as well, by the way. And then we'll peel that off, and I'm going to return the wire that was on this frame when I started. I'm going to get my beads and string them back on. Doing a yellow, white, and then a pink pattern. Pull it back down through the frame, and then we'll go ahead and twist that. And with that, our project is complete. Once the paint had dried on my cutting board, I'm going in with the baby pink paint and I'm going to paint just the edge all the way around just to give it a little accent color. Then I'm going to use a water slide decal. I have this paper by Hippu. Very easy to use, just follow their directions. Well, I lost the footage of that, so I'm going to show you here a second project where I use the same technique. You print it off on your computer, and you have to seal it and then you slide it off onto the project that you're doing and then you come in with a paper towel and blot off the excess water they have all of the directions on the package and just follow it completely for this little sign i'm just going to put a couple of those little tumbling tower blocks on the back and that will finish up this really simple project well i did the cutting board the exact same way I just used a decal that I found online, and it actually comes really close to the recipe that Trisha and I used. I put a little bow at the top, a little messy bow, put a rose right in the center, and that just sets everything off nicely. And there I have the recipe for pink lemonade. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. Bye y'all!